Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some teamer mid range. So I've liked Gruel in this format so far, and I've liked Simic so far that we played yesterday. So I'm gonna kind of combine them together, and we got teamer. We got the explore package. You know, we're base green, red. We have the Spellbreaker, Rekindling Phoenix part of the Gruel. Like those are two really strong cards, and then we got the Cinder Vines in the sideboard that we definitely need those. Plus, we got our good removal with Lava Coil that you don't have with Blue. Blue is giving us, of course, Hydroid Crisis in the main deck, because that card is just so strong. And then Counter Magic in the sideboard with Negate and Frilled Mystic. So that's what we have going on here, uh, kind of combining the two decks. We're you know, a lot more mid-range here, um, not as aggressive, even though we do have the Spellbreakers. And plus, I want to really showcase 3-mana Vivian. I don't think I've been playing enough 3-mana Vivian. Um, love this card and you know wanted to play more of it so we got lots of creatures in here uh, 28 all together so hopefully we're hitting a good amount of the time with the top three uh, looking at, and finding a creature and getting some instant speed stuff um, I think the instant speed stuff does pair well with frilled mystic even though that's in our sideboard where we can have like frilled mystic available if our opponent plays a spell that we need to counter but if they don't then we can just you know play our branch walker or wild growth walker or whatever at end step um, and still have the frilled mystic up for the next turn so there we go let's uh go ahead and try team or midrange let's get let's get vivian for our avatar let's see if we got two worthy. vivians in this deck Yeah, with the Gruul deck, uh, from the last deck list that I have posted here, not the last time I streamed it, well, so, like, the, I did stream it, like, one night after, like, some other decks, and I, I didn't update the deck list command for it, um, but we replaced the Chandra and one of the Rhythm of the Wilds for two Kioras, actually, in that deck, and I actually really liked the Kioras in there. They helped us cast our five mana, Kiora helped us cast our five mana cards and drew us a lot of cards with... You know, Spellbreaker, Phoenix, both the God Eternals, Ravager of the Worm. So that was the that's like one of the changes I made to the deck uh, that we tried out last time. That I hadn't updated the deck list command with that because um, haven't like recorded it for YouTube since then. Well, we got a Krasis. That's all we got. Hey, Polka. Play the Gruel mid-range and hasn't been winning very much. I mean, it's not it's not an easy deck to play. Like, the mid-range decks are always, like, pretty difficult to play. Or, like, you know, it's... So it's... Take some practice. Don't feel bad. Just, you know... Keep learning and trying to get better and uh, and everything. Keep at it. History is not great for us to see. Now there's Benelish Marshall. Can't Not afford to give, have their creatures all get plus two, plus one. I can't afford that. And hopefully they send a good amount of stuff over at Vivian to try to kill Vivian here.
Uh, Kiora was the card. Pakla. Kill that thing. Not bad for a mouse. Uh, the tithe taker making my instant speed stuff. Cost more. So we got a couple more lava coils. This is... This is probably our toughest matchup. Because I don't have sweepers. They go, like, really big really fast. Yeah, it's just not a matchup I want to face at all. Um, guess I'm going to go with negates. Wait, this was just 62. <laughs> Why do I think we had 60? Uh, cool. That's bad sideboarding. Well, we had a lot of lands that first time, so maybe like these extra spells will help us out. You never know. I'd rather cast Kiora or Domri. I mean, it, it depends on what like the follow-ups are and everything. If you if you have stuff that you're gonna be drawing cards, then you know there's nothing on the battlefield. Then you probably want Kiora. If you if there's stuff on the battlefield where you want to to fight, you know, like you want to kill, maybe you want Domri. I mean, I don't think there's like a an exact like you play this one all the time on turn three. First. And they have Takali Honor Guard. Yeah, this is a horrible matchup for us. Can I play against anything else, please? Not this deck. Take anything else. I don't know why the Snowborn Sentry is not attacking. I guess that's why. All right, let's face something else. Let's 
Let's play a different deck. not good hands. Hmm. Hopefully this is control and not white weenie. Okay, good. We're obviously losing this game. We have we have nothing, but at least I think we have better chance for games two and three. Oh, there's Sarah for the scales deck. Well, at least Lavaco can maybe do something then. There's there's no like there's nothing in the deck I would. One to take out to put Neoform in the deck. Um, I wouldn't. I mean, for the most, as far as like the metagame solidifying, for the most part, we're just playing. People are playing like decks from like the last format, you know, like Esper. Uh, as you see here, like Mono White, Esper, Nexus. Just whenever you add a seventh set in, it doesn't usually like change up the metagame a ton. I don't have any donation decks for today. I'll be doing some more donation decks tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna need big events for metagame for the metagame to really start changing and stuff. You should fear those born of darkness. I'm so I still like Grixis. You know, we're playing that next. Still like Grixis. Vampirism is a useful trait. Our opponent had, they did uh, surveil over the Seraph, so now they get to put the Seraph into play. I demand servitude. We've just been going through motions here. This game's been over since the very beginning of it. Not really a point to me playing this out. No, our opponent's cards in hand are good. They're not hitting land drops. They're like, you know, ditching to fairy. It's just. They're so incredibly dead. All right, gonna go with this. I want the extra lava coils. Um, maybe I don't want spellbreaker. The wild growth walkers just don't get through on the bottom because the hero precinct one. All right. Uh, 
I don't think the new the mythic top thousand emails went out. I hadn't got one since before I started streaming at least. Um I don't need Frilled Mystic. Let's go negate instead. See, I want Harpooner for Thief of Sanity. Don't really have room for it, though. Like, and I wouldn't mind, like, the other Negates and the, and the Frilled Mystics. If you didn't play the 12 hours before, you may not be in. Yeah, because I was around five, 500 the night before, and I dropped down all the way to, like, towards, like, the 1,000, and so I played another match and got up to, like, the 350 range. So it's... Yeah, I would say it's a, a coin flip if you're, like, around 500 and didn't play the, the 12 hours before, honestly. I would say you're probably in. Uh, I'll go you're probably in. A lot of good chart cards to choose from. A lot of good cards to choose from. What you want? Choosing the Phoenixes, the Phoenixes kind of tell me that they have. They have Thief of Sanity that they want to hit the next turn. So definitely glad we found the Lava Coil. That's what I was going to be looking for is like something for uh, Thief of Sanity the next turn. But of course now they see the, the Lava Coil. So like what's the point of playing it? Maybe they just had a bunch of Seraph with the skills. I will have revenge for House Markov. <laughs> Time for a drink. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. the land they know about. They don't have any creatures over here, right? I don't think so. Yeah, no, they don't. Yeah, I definitely had a good hand. Uh, Branch Walker, Jade Light, Phoenix Vivian, like that's, you know, that's what my deck is. It's that's, you know, it's a good curve. Hey, RJ Rankin, welcome. Keep the brews coming. Happy seven months, Todd. Uh, thank you, RJ. Not dead yet. Okay. Come here. We had RJ Rankin just subscribe. What a mess I've made. I should not play that. How this thing come to me? 
I should not have played that. I really should have attacked with Jade Light first. I don't know, I get another activation? Okay. Actually, I didn't really mind it when I kind of thought about it a little more. Get another Vivian activation. But I was thinking they were going to block with the Deputy on the 3-2. Let it die. Bring it back with Soren. Kill my other Vivian. Does Feather the Redeem with Karn's Temporal Sundering return the Sundering to your hand, or does it stay in exile? It stays in exile. The weak I know that one. I know that was a, a question a lot of people <laughs> asked. My armor. This looks like a fun new toy. That one stays in exile. No one knows the wilds like I do. They're really Planeswalker heavy. Liliana also. Kind of want all these counter spells. Hey, Adirio. No. Okay. A black green proliferate deck with a bunch of planeswalkers at the top end. That do that sounds pretty sweet. All right, that's our second red source in case we find a Phoenix. So our mana's good. We got Branch Walker to start with. We hope no Thief of Sanity. I'd like to try to find something that will deal with Thief of Sanity somehow. Oh, that's just the land. No, I don't think Elder Spell will become a staple at all. Alright, good. Kaya. Good. That card doesn't do anything. I heard you had some dead things that needed to stay dead. You better watch your back from here on out. Hopefully our opponent doesn't do anything again this turn. No. Okay. That doesn't do very much either. I abhor my need. The big thing that does, though, I furled Mystic Was that dear to you? counter something, then they no, get to get it back. Um, yeah, like if I counter a Seraph for the scales, they can just get it back. Or I can attack Soren for three and not have the Mystic up anymore. We'll do the attack for three. Two cards in hand. <clears throat> I am familiar with pain. What happened on Mardu? We just vampirism is a useful. That's Mulligan. Pack your bags. You better and watch your back like, from all the here time. on out. Didn't. We played against three aggressive red decks, which is a 
very tough matchup for Mardu. Also, like that's three of the five, and we're just mulliganing all the time. Like we had just a bunch of one landers and stuff like that. <laughs> two landers Die with just two colors, drink. or we couldn't cast our other one. Bye bye. We we definitely mulliganed over ten times in the five matches. <laughs> You're working up my appetite. Vivian is awesome. That works really well with Thrilled Mystic. Good find. <laughs> there's just there's no reason what for my opponent to have Kaya in their deck here. Like after sideboarding, that card just has no text. You want something banished? Beat me this time. Funny, that's what I do. Bravo. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. Oh, that time wipe was annoying. Yeah, we can get Frill Mystic Double Flash. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? Strong. Good riddance to bad I'm gone for now, but not forever. Double Flash. Starting over is the only way. Do not provoke me. Yeah, that's that's a good part about Vivian. It, is it does make the open mana look less suspect. Of like, Most why didn't you play anything? Can heal. They already ticked up their Soren, so they don't get to have Soren return that. You're not welcome here anymore. Strike now! Strike hard! Curse you and your progeny! So I I shocked uh Classic Shaker with Frilled Mystic is so annoying. Oh, they're taking Phoenix. Oh, they're gonna take Frilled Mystic there. But I guess then they they don't really deal with the Phoenix, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I shocked so I could have an even number for Crazy the previous turn. Rubbish. Tear it down. Tear it all down. You must feel pretty smart right now. We got a lot of lands. I 
honestly don't even know if I should be using the negate there, to be honest. Maybe we want to save it for like a Planeswalker of the Matter. So, you know, like if they draw like a Liliana this next turn and then I don't have the negate, I'll feel bad. Good for you. Well, with all this, these lands, Shuffling this Vivian Minus should hit something. <laughs> Wait. You think and nature is kind? You won. This time. Ugh. That's annoying. That's annoying. Now our opponent has a tough decision. Do you, do they cast Hydrocrasis? Or, you know, and actually get and cycle it for a card, or do they risk me having a Lava Coil and them not getting it back? This is where, like, Vivian's pretty strong here, too, because, like, if my opponent knowed I had... Knew, sorry, if they knew I had, I was, I was saying no's, but if they knew I had Rekindling Phoenix, then they probably don't just do Cycle Crisis, because then they want. All things begin and end in nature. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. Balance comes. Ah, there's lava coils. I should I should have ticked up the gruel. I should have ticked up on gruel spellbreaker. Because that gives gruel spellbreaker vigilance and reach, so they can both have reach. I should have ticked up then. Yeah, I definitely should put on the spell. I've this seen spell things that would break someone like you. You fight like a city brat. Top three decks that we've played so far, probably the the Gruel Midrange, Grixis Control, and um, either Orzhov Midrange or Simic. Probably the Simic deck. Probably those. No, I'm not playing Kiora in here. I have Little Vivian instead. Kiora just triggers off like the 12 creatures, Spellbreaker, Phoenix, and Krasis. It is really good with Phoenix, like how Phoenix comes back and everything. That is really good with Kiora, but I have, I have the, I just don't really have room with having the little Vivians in here. I think we can beat Nascanta. Um. I just want another creature. Yeah, maybe I should just destroy the Azkanta. I don't know.
You think we should play second Vivian and destroy his Kanta? Sorry, yeah, J-Jack, I just saw your message. I saw you there. So yeah, with activating us Kanta, they'll have like five mana also. Like, did I disconnect? Or did my opponent disconnect? It's saying I won, so I guess my opponent disconnected. Arena has certainly just been so much rougher after the update. Like, after the new cards. You get just so much more lag and everything after these new cards. I don't know. I think we can draw an untapped land. Let's do it. Nope. Twister. There's the untapped land. Found it. Alright, so yeah. Pay one and a red, discard a land to deal two damage to anything, and pay a green to return a land back to your hand. So we got two cards out of their hand for the the Wild Growth Walker. Let's play Jade Light plus Land War Elf. I did want to hit a land drop for Krasis. You know, like that was like the goal, but the Wild Growth Walker looks pretty good here. I don't know if I block with Phoenix and they have like two shocks, then the Phoenix is gone. It's just two damage. Just don't think we really need to risk it. You know the the phoenix takes takes two there, and then if they, you know, have another shock, they kill it, and then they discard a land, and then get rid of it for good. I don't know. Hey, Lala, I'm doing good. Yeah, and our yeah, exactly. We have the crises that gain enough life and everything, and here we could just be attacking them. Didn't need to do that. Uh, didn't have that block. Sark. I fight with a dragon's red. <laughs> Magnificent. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. You can still walk away. Come on! I will come... <laughs> Watch this! Ugh! 
There is no peace in defeat. Um. I guess I'll just do this main phase so that we can see if we hit a land drop. I really do want a 6th land for 4-4 four, four Krasis. Wouldn't mind, you know, 7th land even for 5-5 five, five Krasis. We got Sarkin out of there, though. That's good. Yeah, I'm good for donation decks tomorrow. Yeah, Ooh. I have no now nothing on the started. docket for tomorrow. So I can do 1st, 2nd, 3rd, or 4th. Anything at all there. I guess I'm just playing a 3-3 three, three crisis. So that or past turn. Have you ever lost a home? I'm not uploading anything to YouTube right now. It's not it's not YouTube uploads. I'm not I'm not uploading anything to YouTube right now. No, I don't have Venmo. Hey, Avid. I always survive. Howdy. You'll see. All right, there we go. There's a land. So they're going to have a whole lot of Growth Chamber Guardians. That'll be a little tough. I don't I don't know what the, what's up with the lag. I don't know. I don't have any good answers. Every fight makes me stronger. The mysteries of life are endless. Yeah, Citadel, that Citadel deck that we played yesterday was really nice. We basically had a way to turn to make a 6-6 Krasis instead of making it 5-5. Five, five, so we can draw a third card. We can just be patient. The, so the walker's got reach now so wild growth walker can block phoenix if we need to or you know we have these things that block phoenix if you think i'm a crazy beast where do you see my mates there'll be nothing but dust when i'm done that's annoying it's kind of relying on that wild growth walker for later maybe i should have minus two vivian and just seen if we hit I already have the, these two things to block. Maybe I should just minus two. The thing about minusing two, Vivian, because it's at four, just goes to two, like where Living Twister kills it immediately. This is kind of annoying here. I guess I just go, I guess my best plan of action is just to let this happen. And ha, I've seen worse. And just attack them. 
Like, we can hit them for seven this turn with these two Krasises. Put them down to seven. There's just a lot of flyers. We have 10 damage in the air that gets to trample over right now. Um, so Vivian is in the main deck. The five mana Vivian is in the main deck for just for more card advantage. Because it's just so important. Still seven. I don't think that thing can really do anything. Because that's 13 that we're attacking for. They have six on defense. Because th these are all trample. So that's lethal. Let's get all these lava coils in for their phoenixes. Vivian just does such a great job of finding Krasis also, the five mana Vivian. And you know, we know how good five mana or how good uh, Krasis is. Hey, Mr. Previously. You missed Mardu Aristocrats, lose a bunch of games, and then Esper Legends was our other deck that we played. And that one looked pretty good. Just gonna trim a Spellbreaker. Ooh, does... Hell Collector get a 1-1 counter whenever you play Gideon? I actually am not 100% sure. I don't know. I don't know. Is there any judges in the chat that know the correct answer to that question? Because I, I honestly don't really know. I'm going to regret using that whenever they have Rekindling Phoenix, but Growth Chamber Guardian just, you know, adds into being so many cards. Oh, they do have Phoenix. Can I get a Phoenix? Save Branch Walker to see if we draw a wild growth. You know, we could play the Branch Walker and it's just a, a 2 1 or a 3 2 or whatever. It, it doesn't seem like it does. Doesn't do a whole lot on the battlefield here. Next turn, we can always. Our, sorry, we can already play a Divination Crisis anyway. I am. I live in Roanoke, Virginia.
the question was if you have a pelt collector in play and you play Gideon Black Blade, does the pelt collector get a counter? Or like does Gideon enter as a planeswalker and then you know it says it becomes a creature? Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, Vivian's Arcbow, it's not it's not bad. Vivian's Arcbow is like real good against control and stuff, and it's it's not bad. It's just I don't know if I really want it over anything that we have. If you think I'm crazy. Where do you see my mates? Oh, let the blighters feel the ground tremble. All right, we found that lava coil. A little too late, but the phoenix is out of here. Nice. He loved the Nissa from the Simic Midrange. Awesome. Too many lands. Where's the crisis? Need another one. I was raised by wolves. Though they might have also just been big dogs. You will feel the lick of my flesh. Come to me. Not looking good. Well, there's crisis. A little late. I just got rid of my land war elves. Wow. And then are we dead? Uh, yeah, they're all. That's 15 coming across. Sarkin hits hard. Uh, Z4, I don't, I don't know what you're referencing. Oh, I, I know what you're. Okay, never mind. I know what you're referencing. That, 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 ten minute timeout. You said it's not even vulgar. Well, I, I believe that that was vulgar, and I didn't appreciate that comment in my chat. Definitely need this back in. How about the Vivian, too? I mean, it, our cards are, like, not bad if we draw stuff to do. It's just like when we have like, you know, the Branch Walker Jade Light without the Wild Growth kind of thing. Like the Vivian's good too. There's maybe this Vivian is a cut. Maybe cut that one. Let's do that.
And we have really good mana. We'll be able to cast all of our spells. We have a removal spell for something. And we start off fast if we draw well. But obviously our hand doesn't do anything. I don't know what to do with this hand. This hand does let us play magic, which we've had a lot of not playing magic tonight. Basic Lava Coil is just, you know, so so good against like the Phoenix, it's just like a requirement to have. I'm gonna ship it. Though. No. I think our our deck can make up cards. And going one card down is okay. And I'm really glad we mulligan. This hand's a lot better. Yeah, I like these. I've been liking these card backs. You know, I've used like the the fancier ones, but I've been liking these card backs also. I would have turned to Vivian if my opponent didn't have that Llanowar Elf to have like a spell breaker that could have like threatened to attack it and stuff like that. Beasts are much more reliable than he Let me show you what was lost. What know you of dragons? Your end has arrived! For the fallen. Wow. Not ideal. Dragons. I'm going to block this dragon and try to keep, <clears throat> you know, try to keep Vivian alive. have a very good attack on Sarkin now. There is wonder in a blade of grass. There's another coil going down to the bottom of the library. So we got two we've already cast one coil. Right? Haven't we? No, never mind. No, so we just have two down at the bottom of the library. Right, we had the seven that we didn't keep that had the coil. So yeah, Sarkin does not say it has indestructible or anything, so if I would have blocked Sarkin, I think Sarkin would have died. I believe that's how that would have worked. I 
Right now, it looks like we have two and then one card over here, but on our opponent's screen, it, sh it should show two and two. It should show that I have minus and, and exiled two cards, like this, this Steam Vents should show over here. Mysteries of life are endless. So they're cashing in the Sarkin just for a 4 4. It's kind of good for us. I hope they can't kill this wild growth walker. Let's kick this madness into high gear. When I'm finished Yuck. here, there'll be nothing left but dust. Hmm. All things begin and end in nature. We will rise again. So I hope they don't have our kindling phoenix that they were holding on to with the lava coil. Ah, they did. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? For the fallen. All right, Vivian, dying hero. the card that I wanted to see. Every defeat is a new beginning. Oh, I, then I can't cast that with flash anymore. Duh. I need to do it before damage. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't just do that into perpetuity with flash. Right. So I was going to just end step the crisis because it just has flash, but no, not whenever the Vivian is gone. <laughs> Whoops. So I, ideally, I want the crisis above 4-4 because I want it to be able to attack above a phoenix. Ideally. Now we have 5-5 five, five Crisis. Should 
Chain whirler would be messy. Hey, Dragon Reborn. Glad you've been joining the YouTube vids a lot. Thanks for stopping by the stream. I'm doing really good. How are you doing? Yeah, Rekindling Phoenix is just an awesome card. It does make a lot of sense to play four Phoenixes. I'm only going six instead of seven so that I can have Spellbreaker and Land War Elf. Be able to block their spellbreaker. My Phoenix is cooler than theirs. Now we lost to Wilderness Reclamation once with Legends and something else. Man, this has been so bad today. This lag today. Yesterday and today, it's been like the two worst days. See if we can finish this game out. <laughs> They've drawn five lands to our uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. But to be fair, I've drawn seven more cards than them. Just six of those seven have been lands. <laughs> So we need six of their next seven cards to be lands. Come on, spell. Let's get a spell. That last crisis we played just drawing all these lands. I can't attack. We've, seen, we've only seen one crisis so far this game. No, there's another one exiled. We've seen two. Yeah, that's right. We've seen two. Could we get like a jade light before the lands? Take a J light. Gross. Gross. You know, punished, I guess, for taking out the five mana Vivian. Our three mana Vivian did really good for us. You know, we got a lot of got a lot of stuff out of that three mana Vivian. Let's Look at how laggy this is. Like, like, what is up with Arena? Is this like with other people with Arena these days? The last few days for Arena has been awful. That was a really good match, though. Yeah, that was a really good match. I took out the two five mana Vivians, and then, you know, we really regretted it how we didn't have the. The card advantage there to take over. 
So far, I haven't been super impressed with Teamer here. I, I think I kind of like just Gruul or Simic. I think I like both of those decks more than Teamer. Hey, Deep Fried. Thank you so much for the sub. Twenty third sub on the day. I think some of those got double counted. Maybe it's twenty four. It says twenty seven there. I'll just go twenty four. No, we'll just, yeah, we'll just stay here. Needs more Ravager Worm. Ways to deal with these little phoenixes. Our opposing, our opponent drew their phoenixes at a very good time after. Well, I guess I only found the one. I only drew the one lava coil. We saw two lava coils go to the bottom. That game. Any advice on getting better? I guess it just kind of starts with trying to, you know, every single game like, really focus on like the decision points that, that matter and like the cards, like each card's impact and... And... Hope? I won't hide from the world any longer. You know, like what cards matter, all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> this game, I should have, I should have hasted the first spell break. Don't break make on this another game. move. We're playing Esper. I was just kind of looking at the chat, didn't really realize that Hurry. we're playing Esper control. I should have hasted that first one. Kaya's Wrath was perfect. Keep up the pace. Gruul Aggro is about like when you're playing Gruul Aggro against Mono Red, it's about racing. You know, you want to go big, but you don't want to. Oh my gosh, that card's great. You want to like stay with a lot of like four toughness creatures. You know, you want like your spell breakers to always be four fours <clears throat> and things like that. You want things that don't trade with three damage. You want things you want that can phase you out of time? be bigger than chain whirler. Yeah, definitely have considered coaching, but I think the, the time that I'd spend coaching then is like what I spend uh, you streaming. You know what? I'm not done yet. Hey, never mind. Thanks for the sub there. Five. Welcome to the channel. <clears throat> we cannot beat this. That Teferi with the cast down Ankaya's Wrath was just perfect. Just perfect. So, good job, opponent. Get a bunch of counter spells in. Get a bunch of wild growth walkers and lava coils out.
Oh, thanks, Nevermind. I'm glad you found the YouTube channel. That's awesome. Here's Fort Live. Well, that's, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Glad you're enjoying it. All right, anything else to change? Like, do we want Crushing Canopy or Crowl Harpooner? I think the answer is no. Let's go with this. Cindervines is definitely good whenever you can hit Nezcanta with it. And you know, we even saw the Eldest Reborn. I'm not sold the little bit of damage that Cinder Vines really matters in this matchup, and with them having Mortify to get rid of if it does. I don't think it's better than any of the other cards that we have, basically. I think it's easier for our opponent to ignore when they have things like Enter the God Eternals and Absorb and all of that kind of stuff. That's sad. That's a card I'd love to draw later. I said I don't need to have Negate up for this turn. They don't have like a ton of good things to do this turn, like, you know, like Mortify, Cast Down, like there's not a Sweeper this turn. Well, they don't even have black mana. So they're definitely just like on absorb over here. Hey, thanks, Yud. So now we just attack and have negate up. Yeah, that Abzan Citadel deck. That deck was crazy. That's, pr that's probably a really good deck. We're going to have to play that one again here soon. Huh. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, basically, it's just I, I stream, you know, seven plus hours every day right now. And then, like, doing coaching on top of that. I just don't really have the time because, you know, I have to, like, rest and, and everything and recharge b between streams and stuff like that. So you say Cinder Vines, like what what do you think in our deck is worse than Cinder Vines? Cause I did, I wasn't seeing anything in the deck that was worse than Cinder Vines. Like, to put a card in your deck you have to take a card out. And yes, I, I would bring in Cinder Vines in, and some sometimes I would bring in Cinder Vines in this matchup for sure, if you know we had weaker cards in our deck. But I think our this our cards are all very strong. <laughs> Rest when you're dead. It is eight o'clock here. Yeah, Cinder Vines could. Yeah, Cinder Vines is nice in this matchup at times, but just not something I want over all this other stuff we got. <laughs> Vivian, three CMC is bad here. It is quite possibly the best card in my deck in this matchup. Having all of your creatures have flash is incredible. Plus, like the minus hits a good amount of the time to like give us, you know, so it gives us card advantage and having all of our creatures have flash is just insane. Like, five mana Vivian on the battlefield is better than three mana Vivian, but I don't think there's any other card that's that's better in our deck. Those are the, the two best. Yeah, I start at 3 p.m. Eastern, so I start like five hours ago. So I've been I've been streaming for five hours today. So I do three to ten Eastern. So like five hours ago till uh, till two hours from now. That's whenever I start. This is the time. This time we're the ones that stuck on a color. Unfortunately. 
The one good thing about God Eternal Kefnet is we don't have to worry about them casting a Kai's Wrath. That's rough. Beasts are much more reliable than human. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. There goes two blue sources. All right, Reborn. Have a good night. Kefnet hitting Thought Erasure is just so dirty. You're already ahead at that point, and then... It's just so dirty. <gasps> Not dead yet. You want to play just stock as per control, Rex? Yuck. Yuck. Kefna is definitely really good. That card is awesome. As far as like new, you know, new cards go. It may be the best in the cycle. I mean, it's the cheapest. It's the only one that costs four. Has just a really good body, has flying. And it gives you extra cards. It's certainly the easiest one just to put into decks because Blue's the best color in standard, and it's a blue card. Um, I believe Quip has worldwide free shipping. Mind and body should keep an open mind. Pretty sure about that. Honestly, I didn't really consider Tamiyo in this list. I could see it doing some good work for us, for for the deck, though. I shall miss your company. Yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah, that's the referral link there. Uh, if you do make a purchase with Quip uh, through my referral link there, you get a free donation deck as well. All right, so this teamer deck did not feel too good. So we've had, we've played Gruul and we've played Simic, um, you know, here on the channel here recently. And I liked Gruul and I liked Simic. I liked both of those decks. I was seeing how it would feel if we put them together and... Didn't quite, didn't really like it at all. Just kind of felt like, um, I don't know, we we're just inconsistent with the mana. Just not worth it playing the three colors. So good to know, good to know. It's either we want to go bigger with blue green, or we want to go aggressive with green red. 
think those are like the two good options, but kind of staying in the middle uh, with having the, the both of them didn't, didn't uh, do very well for us at all. So, all right, uh, that's it for team or mid range. Um, probably won't be playing this one again uh, anytime soon. Cause we've got the other, the other two versions that I think I like a lot better. All right. So if you're watching this video on YouTube later, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned some stuff and thanks for watching. And